Shalom. Welcome back. First and foremost, I want to give all glory, praises, and honors to Yahweh, Bahashem, Yahweh Shai. I want to give double honors to the apostles and elders of Great Millstone and say salutations uh, to the ones out there that's pushing this truth with sincerity. Now, I uh, just want to go into a lesson. Basically, uh, uh, I'm going to probably name it Pray Not for This People. All right? And when I say pray not for this people, I'm talking about a particular scripture, which I'm going to get. But I'm talking about a majority of the nation of Israel, all right? Because when you really look at the whole matter, majority of our people got to go, man. A majority of our people has to go. Now, the apostle uh, Tahar had a poignant, uh, uh, basically a comment. This is a while ago where he made a poignant statement was when it all comes down to it, when the Lord really gives us this that, that power, He's going to be jumping over Edomites to get to our people to exact judgment. All right. So I and I know Apostle Tahar being the man of the Lord, how Yahweh, why Yahweh Shai really feel. All right. Our people are in the midst of coming into Jacob's trouble. And, and those judgments are from the Heavenly Father, you know, point period blank. So you, it's, it's a lot of emotions that are high with all this rioting and coming off the heels of this coronavirus stuff and Jake getting judged out here in the streets. But you got to keep it all things in perspective that this is is from uh, the Heavenly Father. He did say he was going to start with his people as far as uh, certain judgments, man. All right. We know uh, Esau Edom is setting a lot of this, these things up. But, uh, you know, at the end of the day, uh, Yahweh, Yahweh Shai is allowing him to do so, right? So let me get that scripture I uh, uh, mentioned at the beginning, right? I'm going to go to the book of uh, Jeremiah chapter 7, verse 16. It says, Therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to, uh, to me, for I will not hear thee. Seest thou not what they do in the cities of Judah and in the streets of Jerusalem? Right. So, uh, <laughs> it said, that says a mouthful right there, man. The Heavenly Father is in a mind frame where he's going to destroy two-thirds, a majority of his people to be exact. And that's the times uh, we're entering in. Of course, we are uh, uh, glad to be Still in the faith, we're glad to still be serving you. How about you? How shy? But man, you still got a, a fear out here that you stay, uh, stay in the good graces and stay in the mercy of you. How about you? shy? Because that judgment is coming down and will come down. They done made Jake the face of the riots, they made Jake the face of coronavirus, and uh. <clears throat> These people out here are arming to the teeth, man. I drove by uh, at work. I drove by a gun shop out here in the, in the suburbs of Chicago. And Esau was lined up around the corner of this damn building, man. Okay. <laughs> and they buying these guns with who am I? Jake. All right. You Negroes, Hispanics, and Native Americans. They buying these guns with your ass in mind, man. All right. And the Lord is going to allow them to use these guns on a majority of our people, two-thirds of our people, when they get that chance. Okay? Because there is Jake out there doing some uh, damage and looting and this and that, a lot in their own communities. But uh, guess what, man? Uh, these people that own these stores, these people in these neighborhoods, uh, uh, they're getting ready to defend their property, man. And if it doesn't uh, uh, calm down soon, Trump said he's actually going to bring in the military. So <laughs> once you bring in some battle-hardened uh, soldiers into the situation, it's just going to escalate from there, right? Let me read it again. It says, Therefore pray not for this people, neither lift up cry nor prayer for them, neither make intercession to me, for I will not hear thee. Seest thou not what they do in the cities? Of Judah in the streets of Jerusalem, and it's plain wickedness, man. All right, the homosexuality uh, a spirit is pushed, the adultery a spirit is pushed, worshiping the woman, putting her over the man is pushed. All right, all these things uh, are, 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 are 
are pushed in this demonic society, and our people love to, uh, you know, love to have it so, as the scriptures say, right? But let's keep let's keep going. Let's go to the book of. Uh, let's get this Ecclesiastes twelve, and four. It says, "Give to the godly man and help not a sinner." So you got everybody uh, want people to come together, but this is it's cold, man. You can feel the tension in the, in the air. You can tell, feel the tension among the different nations. All right. So right now, uh, you got to be really hard, you know, hard pressed to show your mercy to a lot of people, man. All right. If Jake is not coming correct, if Jake is not coming uh, humbly and really sincere, seeking his truth and his knowledge, man. Don't deal with him, man. All right. It says, give to the godly man and help not a sinner. Do well unto him that is lowly, but give not to the ungodly. And that's the majority of our people right now is ungodly. All right. They out of their damn minds. And soon they, <laughs> Yahweh Hashem, Yahweh Shah is going to put them out of their bodies, man. All right. To hold back thy bread and give it unto the, and give it unto him. Lest he overmaster thee thereby, for else thou shalt receive twice as much evil for all the good thou shalt have done unto him. Right. When you help somebody that's ungrateful, when you help somebody that's uh, unworthy, it's that scripture that the, script, that, it, uh, that the Bible talks about casting your pearls before swine, man. All right. <clears throat> Jake is, is very uh, unappreciative, man. And like to take advantage of people. All right. And how about you, how Shai is going to judge a lot of our, our people for that. Now, I was just talking to a brother the other day that lives in Chicago. Right. And, uh, uh, and he was telling me about how they tore up basically all the they had all the stores, all the shops on this block, on this street. A majority of the grocery stores are closed down. One was left open, but it closes early. So you got all these people in a small area. If you've been to Chicago or any major city vying to get into this one grocery store. Right. Now, if they hit this one grocery store. Guess what, man? Hey, <laughs> you got that famine, that actual famine, uh, hitting uh, faster and sooner than possible. But, uh, you know, the brothers that's in the knives, we pray for them and the Lord is going to deliver them through these situations. But for the majority of our other people, uh, our, our other people that's not in their right mind right now, guess what? I'm not sending up prayers for them. I'm simply sending up prayers for the hopeful elect, Right. The ones that have repented and come back to this knowledge and truth and are attempting to do the right thing. All right. That's where my prayers and that's where my focus uh, must go. Uh, you know, as well as uh, your focus should go. Right. But let's uh, let's keep let's keep let's keep going. Because our people, man, they, they finna be in for a rude awakening, man. They really finna be in for a rude awakening. It's the book of Isaiah 30 and 9. It says, this is a rebellious people. <laughs> right? Lying children. Children that will not hear the law of the Lord. So all these calamities on our people are going to keep compounding on top of each other, man. You know? Exponentially. It's going to add up quickly. Then You know, it's going to get real, real, real bad. For a good amount of our people. Okay. Especially with this. Uh, uh, riot stuff. Uh, the, 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 the lack. Not having. Right. This economy is crashing. And then they're going to bring back. And roll out this. Uh, <laughs> coronavirus part two. On your ass. When it get cold again. <clears throat> It's not looking good. Setting everything up for this cashless market to be society, which is also coming. You know, on top of that, uh, martial law and troops are staged on different corners throughout, uh, you know, the Chicago land area. Man, this thing is, is, is going down, man. All right. And our people are deserving of it. Every lick that how about she me, how I give gives out, man. Guess what? They are deserving of it. All right. Let's keep going. I believe I got one more scripture. This is the book of. Uh, 
Matthew 13 and 41. It says, The Son of Man shall send forth his angels, and they shall gather out of, the, out of his kingdom all things that offend, and them which do iniquity. I mean, they're they going to be put to death. This is verse 42. And shall cast them into a furnace of fire, and shall be wailing and gnashing of teeth. So the ones of, of you out there, that, well, Lord willing, I'm part of that number, the elect that make it. But to the ones that don't make it that's out there, that, that talk shit about the prophets, that gainsay the scriptures, that wave their hand when they hear this word coming out, uh, guess what? The Lord might be saving you for that, that, that second death. All right, which I did that did a video about the second death, second great judgment on my uh, backup channel. Right, uh, Bible secrets revealed by. So <clears throat> that's coming, man. That's another calamity you got. Uh, uh, you got. Uh, you got to look towards. <laughs> All right, that second death, and them angels coming uh, to get your ass, man. All right. Because you gotta gotta be put down before this this great reset, and the kingdom and the rebuilding starts. All right, similar to uh, when we came out of Egypt as a people, the Lord had to prove us in that desert for uh, forty years, right? And only certain people and children got to go into what the promised land. So everything is gonna repeat itself uh, again in this time. Uh, let's see. But you pretty much get the point, man. Our people, uh, <laughs> our people are getting judged, and they need to get judged, man. So you know, Jake is emotional, and they hate to see <clears throat> what's happening. But keep in mind that this is all the work of the Lord, man. Right? Second Ezra nine says, uh, uh, "There be many more that perish than that be saved." Right? And it can, and it compares the number to uh, maybe a, a, a picture of an of a ocean wave to a drop of water. So that wave is going to get destroyed and a drop of water is going to be delivered. So that's something to, 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 to chew on and that's something to think about. All right? But I want to give all glory, praise, and honor to Yahweh Shai. Hope this was edifying. I want to say Shalom.